Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. In my previous video, I covered how to store data in the flash memory of F103 microcontroller. It have memory distributed in pages. Today in this video, we will see how to store data in the flash memory of those controller, whose memory is distributed in sectors. This would include Cortex M4 and M7 series controllers. I am using STM32F446RE. Here is the Cube MX. I am selecting external crystal for the clock. We don't need to do any setup. In the clock setup, crystal is 8 MHz, and I want the system to run at 180 MHz. Click save to generate the project. First we will include the library in the project. Copy the header file into the include folder, and C file into the source folder. Let's refresh the project, and you can see the files here. Now include the flash sector.h in the main file. Let's build it once to check for any errors. There are no errors. Let's take a look at the flash sector door C file. Get sector is used to get the sector number, where the memory address is located. This is the reference manual for F446RE. As you can see here we have 7 sectors. Some of these are 16 kilobytes, or 64 kilobyte, and rest are 128 kilobytes. This is the manual for F407 microcontroller. This one have 11 sectors. Your controller may have 15, or 23 sectors also. You have to comment out the number of sectors you have. Mine have 7 sectors, so I have commented the rest. If you have 11 sectors, include this portion also. If you have 23, then include everything. Next, flash write data will write the respective data to the flash memory. It takes the memory address as the parameter, along with the address of 32-bit data variable, that you want to write. It will first calculate the number of words, based on the size of the data. Then it will get the start tector number. Based on the length of data, it will calculate the memory location of the end sector. And then the end sector number. And finally, the number of sectors, needed to be written. It will then erase the required sectors, and write the data into the inetted memory location. Flash read data reads the data from the memory, and save it in the entered variable. Convert to str converts the 32-bit data into the string. Let's start now. I am creating a 32-bit variable to store the string. Rx data will store the data that we will read from the memory. String is to store the converted string. Flash write data will write the data to the given memory location. 
I will use this memory address. Pass the address to the data. Flash read data will read the data from the same location, and store it in the Rx data. And finally convert the received data to the string. Let's build it. I will connect my controller now. Hit the debug button now. I will add the memory location to observe. This is data from my previous expo minutes. But we are writing in this location, so that's where we need to focus. I will add a breakpoint here. So we hit the breakpoint. Let's step in. Number of words are 8. Based on the address, it have determined that the start sector is sector 4. Which is exactly, where we chose the address. N sector address will be calculated based on the number of words. And the N sector number is also the same as start sector. Number of sectors, needs to be deleted is 1. And now we will exit this function. I will add Rx data in the live expressions first. As you can see the data is written here. There were 8 words, so 8 32-bit memory locations are used. Let's read the data now. The data is stored in the Rx data array. I have defined array of 6 words, but I needed 8 words. Anyway let's finish this execution. So the converted data is stored in the string, and of course, it's not the entire data because of the size of Rx data. Let me quickly correct this. I am increasing the size of the array, and string also. Let's debug now. Okay, you might also get this error, if you try to debug again. Go to Debug Configuration, Debugger tab, Reset Behavior, and choose None. Click Apply and Debug now. Data is already stored in the location, so you won't see any change here. Rx data now have all the data. And the string now shows the entire string. This was the result of programming flash memory from the start of the sector. Let's see can we get the same result, if we program the from end of the sector. Now I will start writing from this address, and 8 words means, it will come up to this address. Here we are covering two sectors to write the data, and that's exactly what we want to test. This is the memory location of sector 3. And while writing data, we will come to sector 4. Let's see the address of this location. The address is 0 cross 800 FFF4.
Enter the memory location in the flash write data, and in flash read data also. Let's enter in the flash write data. The number of words are 8, as the data is same. Start sector is sector 3, as that's where the address is located. This is the address of the memory location, where the data will be written up to. This location is in sector 4. The number of sectors needed to be erased are 2 now. Note that this pre-written data here, will be erased, when the sectors are erased. Now our data has been stored in the desired memory location, which covers two different sectors. The same data can be read, and converted to string also. Keep one thing in mind, that the entire sector will be erased before writing data. We cannot erase some particular memory location inside the sector, not at least with HAL functions. This is it for the video guys. I hope you understood it. You can download the code from the link in the description. Have a nice day.